Hi, everyone. Dale Shabijan here with Liz Argo talking about our upcoming Cape Cod Technology Council event, Electric Cars. Liz, how are you today? And, and tell us, what are we going to be talking about at this uh, coffee Q&A? Hi. Uh, well, I'm doing great. It's a beautiful day. We finally sure think is. we might have a little spring coming on here on Cape Cod. Uh, so, yes, I've been asked to talk about my experiences with electric cars, charging, uh, and so on. And one reason I've been asked to talk about it is I have one. I've had one for over a year now. I have the Hyundai Kona, which is a small SUV, uh, cool. as well as my, my um, work, which is in renewable energy. So mm -hmm. I'm very familiar with the uh, programs and the support I work closely with the Cape Cod Commission through my, my work as an energy consultant. Uh, and we are trying to see electric cars come forward because of the obvious reduction need to reduce greenhouse gases. And transportation is a contributor to greenhouse gases that is quite significant. 40% of wow. greenhouse gases are attributed to uh, transportation. So we, um, we're, there's a, certainly a, a move afoot at the state level and the federal level to, to make the change. And so one of the, the one of the great ways we, we see these changes go forward is through subsidies. And there are subsidies for going green, going electric, both at the federal and state level. So I will be talking about those and how to take advantage of those. I'll be talking about my own experience with my Kona, which I adore. As I say, I've had it since October, 2019. And so far, I have spent all of $30 on repairs. And that means what we used to spend on our 10,000 right. mile checkup and 20,000 mile checkup, uh, oil changes. There's no oil changes. I had to have my tires rotated. <laughs> but And I had to go look at some of my fluids. But that's, that's it. So um, it, it's definitely doable. It's definitely... Um, it, it's a savings. Certainly for me, it's a huge savings because I also have solar on my roof. So I haven't had to go to a gas station or pay for fuel since 2019, October 2019. And we don't have to pay for electricity for our home either. So we managed to make sure that we built the solar big enough to pay for charging the car. Um, but even if you don't have solar, going with an electric vehicle is less expensive. And I will demonstrate that or talk about that, try to keep it light and easy for everybody. Mm -hmm. um, but that's, so that's really the, the crux of what we will talk about um, at the Tech Council's um, morning meeting. And we'll also talk about the electric vehicle car show that we hope to have once again in the fall. We had one in the fall of 2019. So we wow. hope to have another one. That's great. I, this is, so this is perfect for me because I've always wondered about these things, but didn't know where to go. Um, on behalf of the business community and the tech council, really appreciate you taking the time to share this knowledge with us and uh, looking forward to hearing and seeing you uh, at the event. That's great. I wish I could drive my car to it, <laughs> but I think we'll, we'll have to stay remote. Thank you. Maybe in 2022. <laughs> All right. Thank, thank you, Liz.